Hello, YouTube. Welcome back. It's your boy, The Crow Show, home of the smoothest voice on Twitch. So today I'm going to talk about the new developer update that was just released today. And rather than sit here and read it all word for word, I'm just going to make some predictions on how I think it'll change the meta. Uh, I would love to see a shakeup here. So we're going to cover it this way. We're going to talk about how the stock is rising for things like Bubba, Deathslinger, Toolboxes with the added Sabotage speed, Invocation, Weaving Spiders, Borgo no longer being red. I think these things have a steady stock price, so I don't see them as rising or falling. That's Chucky, Wesker, and Background Player. That might be a little bit controversial. And these following things have stock declining. Blight. I think he'll still be strong. It's just his eerie perks, uh, eerie add-ons got nerfed. Deadlock, Grim Embrace, Decisive Strike, Pop Goes the Weasel, Buckle Up, no longer provides Endurance Status Effect, and Scourge Hook, Pain Resonance. Now my way to early predictions for the current meta on the Survivor side. Let's talk about that first. I think we're still going to see a steady use of background player. I think it'll still be really strong uh, when paired with Flashbang and Flashlights. The exhaustion duration is reduced to 20 seconds. It was 40 seconds, and that's the way it is right now, prior to the update. Uh, but yeah, background player will, you'll be able to use it every 20 seconds, which basically means you'll have it every time somebody gets downed. Now, if you want to get really crazy, you pair it with Vigil, or if you have one of your teammates using Vigil, um, background player will now have a cooldown of 14 seconds. Now background player's speed is reduced to 150%. I think it'll still be really obnoxious. We'll just have to wait and see. Also toolboxes are getting an, an increase to sabotage actions. We haven't received the details of that, uh, but I do think we'll see a rise of bully squads using breakout toolboxes, saboteur, background player, now, I know that facing a full stack like that will be rare. The way killers usually counter that is just by slugging everyone and bleeding them all out for four minutes each. That's not really fun for the killer or the survivors. Now, with the survivor gen speed perks remaining the exact same, deja vu, resilience, prove thyself, those are the most common perks people use to speed up generator repair speed. Uh, I suspect generators will fly just a little bit faster for survivors. So killers will get punished uh, even more for making mistakes. Now imagine a killer who cannot close chases really quickly. Let's think about Trapper, Ghostface, Sadako, Freddy for example. Uh, those killers don't really have built-in chase mechanics. They can't quickly vault through windows, they can't blink really fast to anywhere on the map, like Nurse, they just don't have that mobility. So when you're facing one of those killers, you just hold Shift W, you run around pallets, you, you, you pre-drop them, and there's nothing they can do. So chases often last a little bit longer with killers like that. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I do worry about the health of those killers when it comes to the generator speed perks, because I think we'll still see people stacking up deja vu, resilience, prove thyself, adrenaline, what have you for the fourth perk. Because generators seem to be the big focus for both sides right now, killer and survivor. Now that leads us into the killer meta. I saw a tweet floating around that shows that mathematically, Pop Goes the Weasel will still be uh, very viable and still a pretty good killer perk. And I assume the same will be the case for Pain Resonance. Uh, their values were adjusted so they don't regress generators as much when you get Pop Goes the Weasel value or Pain Resonance value. Uh, Grim Embrace, Deadlock, all got nerfed. Uh, hopefully that'll change the killer meta. Uh, it's far too common. You run into killers running Pain Res, Pop Goes the Weasel, Grim Embrace, and they'll throw in like an aura reading perk like Barbecue and Chili or Lethal Pursuer. Nor to Hide pairs really nicely with Pop Goes the Weasel. It can be really obnoxious when you just run into that, you know, five times in a row. It's just, uh, again, though, with the slowdown perks getting a light nerf, I do worry how that'll affect the weaker killers. Why would you play Trapper uh, when you can down people super fast with Nurse, Blight, 
Spirit, Huntress, Wesker, heck, even even Bubba now. <laughs> so I'll be curious to see how, again, I'll be keeping a close eye on things. And when the changes do go through, I do plan on using some of the weaker killers just to see how it feels, if it feels really bad. And I'm going to do my best to try as hard as I can in those situations. I'm really excited for the quality of life changes for Bubba and Deathslinger. Uh, Bubba will move faster when he's in his power. Uh, he'll be easier to navigate. And his counterplay will remain the same though. You just jump through a window and pre-drop pallets. Uh, but I'm really excited to hopefully see more Bubba's in the fog. Deathslinger got a nice quality of change update. It's perfect timing for me. Uh, you're looking at some Deathslinger B-roll footage here. And my last couple of videos have been me trying to get better with Deathslinger, just kind of commenting on my gameplay, doing things to improve as Deathslinger, because I think Deathslinger is super fun. And the Iron Maiden uh, cosmetic is just so beautiful. I, I can't get enough of it. Now, I don't play Chucky, Wesker, or Blight enough to comment on them with any confidence. Uh, but I do hope that they're still fun to play with. I did play some Wesker recently, and uh, he is kind of easy mode. And I think that's why people love playing Wesker. He's just so easy to use. He's very powerful. <laughs> I'm thrilled Borgo is getting a rework. The map will be a, it'll be like a nighttime thing here. We'll throw it up here. That's the preview we got. It'll no longer be the blinding red color in your face. And that made scratch marks really difficult to track. Uh, but overall, I'm looking forward to change in Dead by Daylight. I'm not sure if lowering the values of gen regression perks is the fix we all need. Uh, but you know, time will tell if killers start to use different builds, I think that's a really good change. If killers navigate away from using the weaker killers, I think that'll suck, but I guess we'll see. We'll know a lot more next week. And they did tease the next chapter, which is Dungeons and Dragons. And I don't know enough about the teaser they released to, to say what the killer is, but I'm really excited. I think it's an exciting time to be a Dead by Daylight gamer. Uh, so thank you very much for tuning in. I hope to see you in the next one.